Hi guys, from this here, back again for another video on the channel. In this one then, it's another match review as Swan City beat Forest Green Rovers 3-2 at Swan City's training ground this afternoon. Of course, Swan City played two different sides, or the majority of different sides. In the first half then, it was Andy Fisher in goal. Ryan Manning, Nathan Wood, Harry Darling, Kyle Norton, Matt Grimes, Jay Fulton, Cameron Congreve, Matty Soranola, Joel Pro, and Michael Abafemi. The second half team then, it was Andy Fisher who continued in goal. Brandon Cooper, Joel Atabodia, Nathaniel Ogbetta, Ollie Cooper, Joel Cottrell, Kyle Joseph, Ben Lloyd, Olivia Enchan, Morgan Whittaker and Liam Cullen. Very, very interesting team. What I've noticed there, again, no Liam Bender, maybe an injury, maybe he's off, so Bender didn't play today, which was a bit of a shame in the end. Of course, no Liam Walsh either as he's injured. So let's go on to the uh, match review then. Unfortunately, Forrest Green had the first couple of opportunities. Reese Burke had a really good head and just wide probably should have scored but Swansea City did take the lead after 12 minutes a really really nice ball from Carl Noor into the box to Michael Overfemi brilliant touch from the Irish International and slot to home pass the former Swansea City goalkeeper Lewis Thomas so you're thinking 1-0 Overfemi on the score sheet first on this pre-season happy days let's get convinced victory no Forest Green got straight at the other end and equalised Reese Brown with the header really really good header from him then Joel Pro saw a really, really good effort at the back post, saved a really good save there from the goalkeeper. Unfortunately, Forrest Green then took a lead. It was a free kick just before half time, a short ball to the edge of the box, a really, really good finish. But how how none of our players have marked a guy who is free at the edge of the box, I really, really don't know. We need to sort that out before the start of the season because if we're conceding easy free kick chances to Forrest Green Rovers, then... You know, other teams in the championship will absolutely take liberty about that. But, and thankfully for us, we didn't go into halftime losing 2 1. We equalised just for halftime. Cal Norton again, getting another goal this pre season, too. He's had a really, really good pre season in terms of goals, Cal Norton. He runs in towards the 18 yard box, fancy the strike, really, really good low finish pass. Thomas, the goalkeeper. 2 2 then, second half, not really much happened. Last five minutes of the game, Liam Cullum has a free kick, and it's an excellent free kick from Liam Cullum. Power, direct, pace, everything one on a free kick kick and there's no stop in that from Liam Cullen. So Swan City win the game 3-2 then. So at least it's a win but what is concerning me is the amount of goals we are conceding in pre-season. We conceded two against Colchester, two against Forest Green today so that's four. I know it's pre-season, I know you know it's just about you know warming legs up but when we are conceding a lot of goals to a team in League 2 and a team in League 1 respectively you know it, it does worry me a little bit. It's great to see Cullen back on the score sheet and uh, as harsh as it is, it's good that you know he's going to get interest out from other clubs because people are seeing him score goals. Really good to see. But for me, like we still need strength and depth. You know, Joe Allen can come into this team, which is good. But defensively, yeah, we are still very, very poor indeed. It just shows that we do need a wing back. Our next game then is against Plymouth Argyle on Tuesday, which will be televised, I do believe. So I'll probably do a preview for that one on Monday night just to preview the game and talk about Swan City and stuff like that. I'll probably be doing a watch on. I'm not going to Plymouth. You must think I'm absolutely ridiculous that I'm going... All the way to play off for a preseason friendly, no thank you. And if I do do a watch long, I'll probably do a match route after it as well, a short one. But yeah, next game then will be televised, which is good to see, so we can actually see in person the full 90 minutes and, you know, how we'll do against fans, because there'll be plenty of Anson City fans there. But yeah, let me know what you thought of the result. Free to have Anson City, like I said, the result's not really important, but you do want to get a win. And... Look, the main thing is more minutes in the legs. Doesn't look like anyone got injured. There's no one got so did after like, you know, 50 minutes or something stupid like that. Best of luck to Forest Green this season, of course, winning League 2 last year. Fantastic for them. Obviously, losing their manager to Watford is not great, but best of luck to them in League 1. So thanks guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give me a like, a comment, subscribe. And that's it for me. Swan City then ran out winners 3-2 against Forest Green Rovers at Swan City's training ground earlier this afternoon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. I need a one more chance, oh baby, let me show you. I need a one more chance, oh.